Are you good? Are you all set? Yeah, just checking my muscles, making sure. <laughs> yeah, seeing if uh, yeah, the they curls, still. those <laughs> 10 pound curls have been paying off for you. Anyway, yeah. uh, welcome. <laughs> it is the Plan B After Show podcast weekly review. Brock and Hunter back with you. Let's uh, dive right into it, see what happened this week. Uh, I think uh, the first thing that we learned that I think was kind of upsetting you can't buy Bob Ross paintings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Bob Ross paintings uh, off the market. You can't. Yeah, let me adjust my microphone. Is that better? Bob Ross. You can't buy his painting. You, you would think the most famous fucking painter in the world. Everybody yeah. knows who Bob Ross is, but you can't buy a Bob Ross painting. Is it weird to say that I would so, rather have a Bob Rossian painting than like a Picasso or something? You know what I mean? Uh, like, you, you know, because I think everybody could relate. You know, not yeah. everybody can relate to Picasso. I, I mean, I, I know who Picasso is, but I know a few of his paintings. But I, I you know, it just yeah. doesn't. I like happy trees. I like happy trees and happy you know? mountains and happy streams. Anybody could draw this. Ooh, you know. <laughs> I could do a Picasso right now. All right. It's easy. It's easy. But Bob Ross, that takes some skill, man. Yeah, uh, it is weird, easy. though. With all of the paintings he did, you'd think that you could maybe come across one. But yeah. maybe for copyright reasons or because it was, I, I, I don't know. That would be my guess is like they, like PBS doesn't want it out. I don't know. It There's, make no, reason. There's no reason. There's if, no reason. If they're selling, right. if they're selling trillion dollar paintings, yeah, we, we we can get a Bob Ross painting. Come on, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, let's see something we learned at the beginning of the week that Hunter really couldn't wrap his mind around. Scientists have taught bacteria how to play tic tac toe. Oh. You remember this story? Yeah, I do remember this story, and I blocked it out of my brain because it's it's not real. There's no way Is you can teach big bacteria how to play tic tac toe. Sure you could, dude. It's a living organism. Hell, if you could play tic tac toe, bacteria. Hey, you know, shut up. When is just Come on, you got to be on board with me on this. No, I to me, it makes perfect sense. And also, it's very scary because if you're able to teach this organism that think about ba bacteria can be deadly. All right. You think about it. Virus. I, I did 100%. So, so you're telling me I put two O's in a row. This bacteria is going to be like, oh, Hunter, you put two O's in a row. I got to put an X over here. No, you, I'm sorry. If you teach it, yeah, it's, I mean, with anything, it's just oh, like how they, they teach, uh, here's I don't know, maybe bacteria. They, I'm not, I'm not some scientist. Sit down, family. sit down and listen. God, you're so fucking stupid bacteria. You'll never get this. <laughs> You'll never learn. Uh, I'm, there's gotta be some kind of reward system or, you know, they like, or maybe if they don't get it right, you shake the little Petri dish and they're like, Hey, all right, fine. We'll get it. We'll do it. Right. Yeah, I don't know. But, the only reward is this reward to the scientists who made this study. Okay, Hunter, we'll think so. about think about this, Hunter. Right, if you look at an evolutionary standpoint, weren't we all just little tiny organisms at one point, and then we learned? Yeah, but we didn't know how to play tic tac toe then. We, we had to develop fingers and brains, and you know, maybe original us. They have brains, right? They're living organisms, right? I mean, yeah. I think you, I, mean, I don't, you don't have to have a brain to be a living organism, right? You can be a living thing without a. I mean, look at us. We don't have brains. We're, <laughs> half alive. Jesus. We're sitting here trying to break down the science. I, of yeah, you know, let's just not break anything down. Let's just, okay, we have a difference of opinion here. You think for some reason that bacteria, why not connect four? Why not just check our shoots and ladders? I don't tic -tac -tac, care. Maybe that's, what the, that's what they're working on, but you got to start a tic-tac-toe. Like when you're a toddler, you don't jump right to Monopoly. You got to play Candyland first. You know what I mean? I or think this is a study to see how dumb Americans are. Hey, if they actually fucking believe this, then we can say anything we want. I think you I think you do a little more research in on this, buddy. I think you do. I think <laughs> All you right. do. Well. Mad, you're just mad that bacteria is going to beat you in tic-tac-toe again. <laughs> <laughs> Get some, Damn you, bacteria. Get some bacteria i need to wash off my body how about that you know it's pretty easy to keep winning when you never move your back, back row, row. ever Man. <laughs> and uh the last thing we learned this week in our weekly review uh hmm i mean there was this was a busy week what about this how about uh the guy who is now arrested in arkansas for shooting the johnny cash tower oh yeah dude what a shot dude yeah, like guy. Obviously, it's vandalism, and you're messing with something. But you got to give that guy a little credit. I mean, he put dude. a perfect shot in the wiener of a Johnny Cash silhouette, and now it looks like it's peeing on this town in Arkansas. Right. Like that's impressive. All right, 
We got fucking Bradley Cooper from American Sniper over here just, just laying into Water Towers. It's a great except shot. He's got, except he's got a mullet and he's driving a T-top Camaro. Exactly. <laughs> he's got some red man hanging out of his mouth. That's great. He got some red man chai in there. And he's like, yeah. Ooh, Betty Lou, check out this shot. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Man, could you imagine having to repair a Water Tower? Dude, those don't look cheap. Dude. People that work on water towers or the 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 big uh, uh, fans and everything, mm -hmm. fuck that, man! A oh crazy my job, God. dude. You get halfway up there and start looking. Whoa! I'm really high. Like, here's the thing: if that if your safety measures fail, you're dead. Like you're not limping away from that job. You know what I mean? Here's another question, real quick. And I didn't bring this up when we talked about it. Is okay. I get it. A, a, a whizzing bullet can go through a lot of things. Yeah. But is the water tower really that thin? It's like, the, the soda the, 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 like a soda can thin that a bullet can rip through it and puncture it. Like that's kind of dangerous. That thing is full of water. Yeah. Like, like yeah. don't you think it should be a little more thick? Or maybe do like two. Uh, like why would it just burn? Like you know what I mean? That like pressure, burn. right? Yeah, you think. I don't know. I don't know what he used. I don't think he used his Red Rider BB gun. That's for sure. But. You know, he had to have used something like a 460 Weatherby or something. Yeah. Yeah. 30 odd six. What do you think? Wait, I, they didn't say in the story, maybe to deter people with those guns. Like, oh, shit. I'm going to go do this, too. You know, I'll admit this because we didn't do any damage or anything, but it was fun. We, we took a potato gun to a water tower one time. Boom. Just lay, laying into the water tower with, with potatoes. We're trying to get it over, but we couldn't get it over. It was you know, too high. Between you doing that and then laying money on the railroad tracks, Jesus Christ fucking joke. <laughs> no, we don't build snowmen on, on the railroad tracks. That's not the us. Worst. Just the worst. Yeah. Go right to jail. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so for anyone out there, just don't be shooting water towers because that, dude, a felony. He got a guy got yeah, a 15 years, towers. man. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with those things. Yeah, actually, you know what? My, my the next one he should do is I'm pretty sure there's a water tower with Dolly Parton on there. Get both. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> all right, put some tassels on there. Anyway, I'm just looking for a good screenshot. <laughs> all those, right, well, there's your nipples. Those are, my nipples. those are my nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? Anyway, uh, all right, that is your weekly review here on the Plan B Morning Show After Show podcast. We will see you next Friday with another week in review. So uh, tune in for that. Uh, we'll see you guys later. If I can hit the button. Button. Hit the button, Greg. <laughs>